wasn't far now. Today, I would meet the kidnapper, and he would so give I've me been asked I wouldn't give him any uh, other choice. a few a times, man, like how much straw. is Alan Wake, Sam Lake as a writer, and Very and little, without realizing it. My, my answer is the story in the not really at true. all, the but, but there is a certain kind of a truth to the idea Alice that there are, of course, we, we always draw from, from our own FBI. experience. And I think that, surprisingly, a few of the Remedy the games in, in some way are metaphors system. and commentaries on video game development. This is Pat Main, and you're listening to KBF-FM. Folks, I want to apologize for kind of abandoning you to that looping music track last night, but I was detained. You see, I encountered a big-shot G-man with an itchy trigger finger who could use a, a lesson in manners and a boot in the ass, not necessarily in that order either. Now, folks, I know I'm not being very informative here, and I apologize for that. I really should just keep quiet, but... I'm just so peeved right now, because some people just shouldn't be carrying badges. And I'm just glad that our Sheriff Breaker was there to straighten things out. And if someone I met last night is listening, let me just say, I'm sorry if my mouth got you in trouble. I'm pretty sure you're not the bad guy here. Godspeed, son. I hope you know what you're doing. Now, on a lighter note, I'll be talking to Dr. Nelson all morning. But first, a little music.
Welcome back to KBF FM. Hope you enjoyed that tune. Now, Doc, you were talking about life and finding that special someone, that soulmate. Well, you were talking about that. I was saying I don't buy it. Well, see, to me, that's strange, because I always pegged you as a hopeless romantic. <laughs> you got me there, Pat. But I think love's where you look for it. And you need to do a lot of looking, sure. But the idea that there's that one special person out there for you, and if you miss that chance, it's gone forever, and you're forever incomplete. I mean, isn't that depressing? Or, heck, childish even? There's plenty of fish in the sea. <laughs> and apparently a fisherman has a fishing analogy for everything, but what you're saying, isn't that a little harsh? Well, no. What I am saying is that your potential for finding that connection isn't limited to what's essentially a chance encounter. How is that harsh? Yeah, well, I guess that's a nice thought, but let me say something personal here. Okay. Now, well, I, I don't disagree with you exactly, but I can't really fit that together with what I feel, what I, what I felt for someone, because she was the one. She was. And she... I let her drift away from me. Maybe I didn't put in the work. I don't know, but... Well, since then, and it, it was a long time ago, but, but since then, there hasn't been anyone, not like her. And I'm not saying I dwell on her or haven't moved on. I like my life. I, I'm not living in the past, but I do miss the way she completed me. You can't argue with the heart, Pat. Uh, I'm sorry, folks. I had kind of a scary experience last night, and let's just say it's shaken a few things loose. stories in our games as a metaphor of making video games. I mean, obviously, uh, in these past 25 years, a considerable amount of my life has gone into making video games and thinking about video games and struggling with the process of making video games. So it's not a surprise that these elements sneak in. Alan Wake in particular is a lot about the process of writing a story and struggling with, with writing a story. I mean, obviously we see glimpses of him struggling with it and, and, and thinking about it. So it was, it, it, it's one of the reasons why, why this game is so close to my heart, that, that because as a writer and thinking about these things and then being able to use them as elements in the story uh, felt exciting and and felt interesting uh to me as a as a rider <gasps> for Mott, spying on the rider on the ferry had been a disappointment his boss had made Wake Out to be something special, but Maude hadn't been impressed. He'd gotten a good long look at the wife, though, and he liked what he saw. Maude had fantasized about goading Wake into a fight, but it hadn't happened. Still, he'd get his chance to see if the writer had anything in him. He'd been promised as much.
I was early. I was supposed to meet the kidnapper at noon in the main building. The coal mine was quiet. It was a museum now. With Nightingale gone and the night wind blowing in through the broken studio window, Maine stared at Sarah. The sheriff looked away. Maine's voice shook with barely controlled anger. That boy's doing more drinking than thinking. I hope you know what you're doing, Sarah. He's got a sickness in his eyes. You take my word for it. He wants Wake for a reason, and it's not for anything good. I didn't want to go outside. Cops had to be looking for me. The new sun turned the place into a sauna. The day dragged on. Different scenarios ran through my mind. Ways of how I'd torture the kidnapper to get Alice back, or the different horrible things he could have done to her. I imagined her dead. I had no way of knowing she was still alive. It was killing me. I was running on blind hope. It was all a waste of time. The bastard never showed up. Wake! Where the hell are you? Change of plans! You know where Mirror Peak is? It's a big mountain north of where you are. You follow the path from the mine, you can't miss it. There's a lookout point there. I'll be waiting. I'm through being jerked around you by you. You see your wife alive? Cause if you do, you better watch what you say to me. Do we understand each other? I want to talk to Alice. Yeah, and I want the manuscript. Don't keep me waiting, Wake. Hello? Hello? Ah! I'm gonna kill him. I had to get to Mirror Peak. <gasps> Maybe closer than ever before. Now in this commentary, I, I talk a lot about my own perspective and, and how I see these things, but it's always important to mention that making video games is very much a team effort. There, there are a lot of brilliant, uh, talented people uh, working at Remedy uh, and, and we're uh, working on, on Alan Wake. And, and there are a lot of inputs. Uh, you know, as a, as, a, as a writer, you have a story in mind and you refine it uh, to a certain point. But then you have a lot of people bringing interesting, cool, surprising ideas to the table. And, and, and then it's a challenge to kind of pick and choose, take those in and let them change it for the better. 
When Thomas Zane fell for Barbara Jagger, it happened fast. She was young, vibrant and beautiful, full of life. He had never been a very happy man, and without any seeming effort, she had changed all that. Zane felt good for the first time in his life. Everything she did was another piece of a jigsaw puzzle he hadn't even known he'd been missing. And best of all, she made the words flow, strong and sharp. She was his muse. The only way to reach the hillside ahead was to go through the building. I had to find a way to avoid electrocution.
Some of the Taken retained echoes of their former selves, but these were just the nerve twitches of a dead thing. Nothing remained but a shell covered and filled with darkness. In most cases, these puppets were enough for the purposes of the Dark Presence. But for anything more elaborate, as with the writer, it was different. It needed his mind. And so rather than taking him over completely, it merely touched him. There was no way the flashbang grenades were standard power company equipment. I stared through the bars of the jail cell. Barry stood behind me, swaying on his feet, looking as ill as I felt. Agent Nightingale stood on the other side of the bars with Sheriff Breaker. Nightingale had a stack of manuscript pages in his hand. He seemed unhinged as he gloated. Well, I've got you now, Raymond Chandler. It's all here, all the evidence, including conspiracy to murder a federal agent.
for Alan Wake's story, a uh, lot of the backstory we discover along the way comes from 60s, 70s, and even 80s. Now, I was born in 1970, and, and, and so kind of when I think about elements of, of Finnish uh, countryside and, and cabin life uh, during summers, uh, it, it has this golden sheen on it that, that you often have, you know, when you are growing up. And, and when, when I think about the backstory of, of the 70s with the Birdleck cabin, uh, these are the kind of feelings and, and uh, images that I think about. I had no real plan. I was going to give the kidnapper all the manuscript pages I had for Alice. If that wasn't enough, I'd hold him at gunpoint and make him talk.
dark presence was moving ahead of me in the same direction I was going. A cold feeling settled itself in the pit of my stomach. Was it going for Alice? 